This is the Structural Dynamics Identification Control Lab. And in this lab, uh, we are primarily developing sensor platforms and decision support tools to better understand and assess the condition of infrastructure. If you were to think about a, uh, you, you have an ailment, you go to a doctor, your doctor puts a stethoscope at it and a couple of very simple tools and that allows uh, him or her to diagnose uh, what is it uh, that uh, is ailing you. We are essentially doctors and the patient here is a piece of infrastructure. Bridges all over North America are aging very rapidly um, and therefore the cost to maintain these bridges is increasing to an amount that's not manageable. So in order to continue to maintain bridges without significantly increasing spending, we need to find a way to do inspections faster, cheaper, um, without sacrificing um, accuracy. My research work involves um, studying how we can use autonomous robotics for civil infrastructure management. So more specifically, I'm working on um, building robots and software for uh, structural inspections of bridges. So the end goal is to have either a drone or a ground robot inspect a bridge in a way that's one, safer, um, but also cheaper and more accurate than the way we currently do things. Pressure bursts, so like huge leaks, if we can figure those out as soon as they happen, that obviously helps, especially in the winter. Cities will range from 15 to 20 percent, some cities losing as much as 60 percent of their water during treatment and delivery. Watt Hydra is a retrofitted fire hydrant system that um, allows us to put sensors within the water column. So currently it has a hydrophone, a pressure sensor, temperature sensor, and accelerometer, all of which are sensitive to different features that we're monitoring for. Being in Waterloo, doing this kind of research uh, is natural. Uh, you don't feel out of place and there's so much things happening in the context of smart infrastructure and smart IoT that uh, I can see the future is very bright for researchers and students coming out of Waterloo.